Let's talk about tags and Microsoft Teams and how they can help you. Tags are useful because you can create groups of people and then at mention the tag in your Microsoft Teams chats or conversations. It's also useful because the people included in the tag will get a notification under the activity bell to help them quickly find the messages that are most important. By default, tags can only be created by a team owner. However, if one of the owners goes to more options for the team, they can select manage team and go to the settings tab to update the tag options. This is where the team owner will find the drop down for tags are managed by. You see that team owners is already there, but you can select team owners and members if appropriate. To create a tag, go to the Tags menu item at the top of the screen. You will see a Create a Tag button on the right-hand side of the screen if tags already exist in your team. If your team does not have any tags yet, you will see the Create a Tag button in the center of the screen. Click on the Create a Tag button and a Create a New Tag dialog box will appear. You must give your tag a name and it is limited to 40 characters. The tag can include letters, numbers, spaces, and emojis. And then you can enter a tag description. They are optional, but it is a good way to help people know how to use your tag. Next, you will add the names of the people who will be included in this group. They do have to be members of this specific team in order to be added to the tag. Finally, click on Create. Now, any member or owner of the team can see the new tag and view the names of the people included in the tag. Back on the main tags page, notice that there are three categories. Tags assigned to you include all tags that have your name as a member of the group. Other tags will show you tags that do not include your name. And the final category is deleted. If a tag was deleted, it will go under this category and the tag can be restored for up to 30 days. After that, the tag is gone and cannot be restored, even by an admin. Now I'm going to use the newly created tag by posting a question in the feature request channel. Click new conversation and type the at symbol, then start typing the name of the tag. Notice that you can see the names of the people included in the tag. As the poster, this helps me know who I am tagging. If you see the post later as a reader, hover over the tag to see the list of names included in the tag. I have logged in as Nestor so you can see the notification that appears in the activity section. This helps Nestor to know that there's a message that specifically requires his attention versus one of the many conversations that are going on in Teams that may not apply to Nestor specifically. One of the cool things about tags is once they're created, they can also be used in a chat. So from my chat window, I'm going to click on the new chat button and type in a different tag for the Microsoft 365 managers. The names of the people associated with this tag will automatically be added to my chat. This is a way for you to quickly start a private conversation that maybe shouldn't be held in front of everybody on the team. There will come a time when you need to manage your tags. People come and go from the organization, they change jobs, or maybe you just don't need the tag any longer. Go back to the tag settings and click the three dots next to the tag that needs to be modified or deleted. Here you will see the options to chat with the group, edit the tag, copy the tag, or delete it. I chose edit, and for this example, I'm going to remove Adele from this particular tag. Once I do that, all I have to do is click on the X and it was automatically saved. I'm gonna click on the three dots one more time and this time I'm going to choose delete. A floating dialog box will appear, making sure that this is what you really want to do. I clicked on delete tag. Now if I open up the deleted section, you will see that test was deleted on this date and now I have 30 days to restore it if I change my mind. Now that we have reviewed tags together, go play with it and see if it can help improve your workflow. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.